is so good to have you here with us on Leadership TV. This is Entertainment Gist, and of course, I'm your host, Cynthia Onwadu. I'm not alone in the studio. I have a beautiful lady here beside me. Hi, Precious. Hi, Cynthia. How are you doing? I'm good. Are you ready to delve into the muddy Definitely. waters of the entertainment We're ready, We're ready to drag some people. Yes, all the chaos, yeah. all the buzz goes. This is where we bring it to you, hot and spicy. Well, first of all, we'll be starting with... Angelia Okori and Ifoma versus Messi Johnson. Johnson. Of course, right after uh, the unfortunate demise of Junior Pope, we've seen a lot of dragging, a lot of back and forth in the Nollywood industry, blame yeah. games here and there. And they were asking ourselves, what is even happening? What is it? But the latest one right now is Angela Okori coming out to drag Messi Johnson and calling her the W word. That is calling her a witch and saying her mother is also a witch. Her mother was responsible for taking the destiny of some Nollywood actors and actresses. Oh my God. These are allegations. Of course, nothing concrete has been established. I'll say that again. These are allegations from Angela Okori. But then again, she went a step further to get a childhood friend of Messi Johnson. They got into the Nollywood industry together and of course on a live video on Instagram Ifoma narrated how she and Messi Johnson went to the mother's room and then they did bra 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 and then Messi Johnson's mother exchanged her destiny with Messi it's just a lot what is it what is it really it's it's tiring honestly precious what do you think <laughs> what do you have to say about the I feel like I feel like really? those are very strong allegations really strong ones very strong ones yeah. because it's one thing to insult a person online it's another thing to call the person a witch and say the person oh, is uh, um possesses some kind of black magic an exchange, exchange of, of destiny. destiny how now I feel but, but then again Nollywood has had its own fair share of controversies we've heard about bullying we have about the casting yeah. even right when we were going through the unfortunate demise of junior pope we heard a lot about him being casted and blacklisted in nollywood from getting roles and what have you it's just a lot i think nollywood has a lot of work to do they need yeah. to get their acts together they when it to comes to bullying welfare of actors and actresses even some of our legends the way we get to always hear them falling sick Begging for financial assistance. Nobody comes they, to their nobody age. Nobody comes to their age. It's just, that die. industry is just, I beg. It's a mess. Can we it's say a mess? mess? It, okay. I, feel, I feel like it's From a mess. From Precious. Precious said it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. My hand is not there. It's my food chest. <laughs> it's her food chest. She's saying Nollywood is a mess. Please, guys, get your acts together, okay? And then Messi Johnson's husband, of course, came to her rescue and said, I mean, it's when a, a tree is full of fruits that you see so many people trying to bring uh that tree down so that means his wife is actually a star that's why they're coming after her but of course angela okore went ahead and called the honorable member of the federal house of representatives eh, a house boy that all he knows how to do is carry messi johnson's hand back how now ah, so our sad. own house of rep member ah angela please oh take it easy all right we'll just be looking at that particular story and get to see how it unfolds but of course mercy has not even said a word anything she has not even said anything she hasn't denied she has not herself. accepted nothing just, just leave them to be rambling leave them to be born. talking let them say that's basically what mercy johnson's silence is yeah. all about her silence is a very loud one very loud they yeah. said the the, the 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 silence speaks more it than speaks words more than words and that's okay. what like that's what she's doing let's move ahead to the next buzz goes on our list of course last week we even went through the davido and whiskey duahala ah <sighs> god it's just too much and then <laughs> a few days ago davido got into a scuffle with a with a abuja like, baba Oh, what? I call him Abuja Baba. <laughs> okay, this particular Baba went online. I think it was Twitter or Instagram and said, Instagram. David Doe is 003. That is, he's in the talk, in the Hall of Fame. Then, now, talk, yeah. we're talking about Bonaboy, Whiskey, and David Doe. And David Doe is the bottom, like, you know, by three. And of course, David Doe went and said, okay, I usually come to Abuja, I bab my hair. I know I've opened Babu Salon for, for like so three many people. people. So yeah. you have missed your destiny with your, your big mouth. And then this guy went ahead and said, you're not, you're my, not god. my god okay you're, you're not, not my, my god if i so, blow i blow but then i feel you. like davido makes it hard for his fans to like defend him yeah it talks too much i feel like it's coming from a place of hot he has just seen himself up there for mm. so long so for someone to come and bring him down and say he's top three it's just whatever comes to his heart he just voice out 
but you know but being in that position in still, life i don't really think you should be reacting to every criticism they, they brag a lot whiskey brags Bonner boy brags, mm. them do brags. They brag. That's to do normal. With the ego, right? It just has to do with the ego, basically. Mm. And it's the money that brings the ego. So will you really blame them though? But would you allow things like this get to you when you've gotten to that pinnacle of your life? To be honest, when somebody are, goes and says, okay, yeah, number three, yeah. and then you have to react. To be honest, we are human beings. We have feelings, regardless of how rich you are, how mm. old you are. Mm. You're still a human being. So regardless of how you try to not put that, give that, give that particular energy, troll yeah. and energy or attention, it still gets to you somehow. Like yeah, somehow, human beings, as we can so, see. But then again, surprisingly, that Abuja based Baba in like a few minutes or an hour, he got like thirteen thousand yeah, like, FC followers. They, they, they're trying to. They prove were not a playing. Point. I mean, this fan was getting playing. too much. Everybody is just trying to prove a point. This is hi- bigger than this. This is higher than this. Yeah. And this people, they are not even sharing their money with us. Like, when, when you give yourself this kind of headache. <laughs> When Guys, please, anything. it's okay. Enough is enough, okay? And then, uh, going back to where we skid called Peruzzi, the pants, the widow's pants washer and songwriter and what have you. And then, yeah. Peruzzi went ahead and said, can you say it in my front? I don't really understand why people try to shame songwriters. Songwriting is a skill. It's, it is. It it's takes a, a it's lot. It's a talent on its own. It takes a lot. Not everybody knows what to jot down when they hold really? a pen. So I really so, think they should be giving their flowers. I don't honestly, know why people like to trample honestly, on songwriters. Yeah. Really. A lot of great artists didn't even write their own songs. Michael Jackson, Rihanna. They don't so write many. their own songs. Have... Till, till date, many till don't that, write their yeah. songs. A lot of great albums were, you know, came alive through ghostwriters. People would never even know. So I think yeah. a lot of accolades should be, you know, given to songwriters. I don't really understand why we want to shade Shade in there. Yeah. It doesn't make, doesn't sense. make any sense. Yeah. Okay, let's move ahead now to Etinosa versus Pere. Okay, this one happened yesterday. Etinosa came out to say, okay, Big Brother Niger fans, please warn your, warn your celebs though, that they should stop owing, you know, they are owing me. They you render you ask them to render services, and then they don't render those services, and they don't and pay they you back their money. money. Blah blah blah. And now we thought she was just throwing shit. Nobody, people were just guessing, calling names. Like who is this person? Who is she talking about? And then hey. hours later, it is Etinosa came out with her full chest and tagged. she put an at button. She tagged him. Okay. Violence <laughs> activated. She tagged I am not him. your mate in this industry. And then she's trying to say somebody, you know, paid up. Or came to pay the balance of what he was owing or whatever. Yeah. But then, Perry being a very outspoken person, I'm surprised that he hasn't even said anything. Maybe because it's true. No shade. Being a debtor is really not. <laughs> It's not a, it's not it's a, not good, a good thing, thing <laughs> to be honest. It's not a good thing, and I feel like if you're re- actually a debtor, mm. you wouldn't come online to start like arguing going, with, argue with somebody that right? you know that you're actually just owing. Crawl it back it just, your shell. It just it will but die then, down. This brings to mind the question of Big Brother Niger fans and them and the madness with the Big Brother alumni. Okay, you see them, you know, posting birthday gifts, fake money, houses, and then these are people that you are. You see them. Ah, be screaming for them you are looking up to them but the fake life is just it's too much honestly it's, it's actually i feel like most of the fans they they do too much mm. but then if they actually genuinely like you they would actually go extra mile just to mm. make like when erica got disqualified they gave yeah. her like they literally opened a go fund me so some of their love might be genuine but some might be you know haters in disguise just haters in disguise just but i think all the fakeness fighting. is part of the packaging True, really think it's part of true. The part of yeah, it's just to make you feel like if you enter the show, you know, you could also gain this yeah. fandom, this fan base. Remember that... when the white money thing even happened? Where even some of his fans came yeah. out to say, okay, we actually lie. You didn't give white money up yeah. this amount. We just <laughs> that was... told him to play along. <laughs> that Big Brother alumni and fans, you people need to take it easy with the fake life, okay? Nice. A lot of reality TV shows all over the world with the partakers doing big things, but you don't really see... Uh, viewers going out of their way to try to help these uh, celebs to live a fake life really i think everybody should just be true to Chill. themselves yeah. there's no need for the packaging if you have it you have it if you don't have it you don't have it just walk towards it and it's also like a source of inspiration to people looking up to you so why yeah. do you always feel the need to fake it to make it i think that's what it's all about faking yeah. it to make it okay let's move ahead now sam clef vassal simi and adekun gold. gold another buzz was going on I, I don't know if to mention simi because she has not said a word it has basically been between sam clef and, and, and adekun gold. gold i know you're really up to date with that yeah well sam clef is just somebody that i feel like he came online maybe 
from the bitterness he has felt all these years <laughs> from Simi not looking at his, his his side anymore and then he comes Some alive he's always bitter like, like he comes alive people. digs out you know 100 years ago kind of chemistry between mm. two of them we don't really know when that happened but then he comes he says that and then after saying that he ex like he's like i don't know maybe he's expecting Simi to be like oh sam clef i'm sorry i didn't like answer you yes, i'm sorry please. i didn't I didn't date you that time. Do you want? Do you want us to date? Well, how did all this even Which, start? Which instead of it, um, Sam Clef, um, a tweet saying that you know back in the days he's the one that really brought Simi to light with the producing, <laughs> blah blah blah. Like when they were in, um, when they were in, um, church. I think something about being in the same church together. In the church, I think. Yeah, yeah, like he could not make a move for her because of like you know there was already the other allegation going around mm. that he was sleeping with like most of the girls. So which what, wasn't true on his part so like right why are you bringing all this up now like it was later? like what's what's what are you trying to like you know bring up it wasn't really making sense so i so get much. where the adequate goods come because you cannot just come out after how many years you also That's have your own bad record but nobody brings that out because mm. everybody every producer will definitely if not in the biggest chance, in the slightest chance they will have somebody that mm. they are owing a sound to so you know you are owing adequately a sound and you come out and start dragging his wife, thinking he'll be quiet. So to me, I feel like Sam Clef was very, very bored. A few days after that, I think I saw a list Sam Clef made of people that he had made in life. Popular musicians that so he made. So funny that beat. he calls him me. Why you make all these people? And then you didn't even not. make yourself. And mm. then his age was going around social media. And he's like 39. They said Clocky one year 40. left. 40 year old one man. Year left. Once you cross the one year mark, you, there's you no should, coming back. You should for be you. retiring by now. You should you should be taking care of it, not dragging <laughs> people that you couldn't, you know, make yeah. chemistry with well, when in your but, but then again it's bringing me back to see me. This is not the first time somebody is coming out to you know try to sexualize her, both from the past and the present. Even Brimo has done something like that. And then I'm wondering why her is it maybe probably when she was coming up she never really engaged with these people and then she seems to be the one that got away because why her name be mentioned every time she's married now with a kid yeah. so what are you people trying to actually prove where is the respect actually what sometimes i feel like this nigerian artist sorry to say they really don't respect women because some things are better left unsaid i don't know why her name is continuously being mentioned in all every, these spaces, after every five market past. days, they'll bring Simi. These five market issues days from bring 10, Simi. 15 years ago. Oh, I knew Simi when she was in one struggling studio in her backyard. I asked her out, this, this, I wanted to do this with her. Like, why? What is what let is the go. use, really? She's let a married go. woman now with a kid, so I think we should just let Simi rest. She just yes. wants to make music, love her husband and her daughter, and Basically, live her best life. She's really living her best life. So, okay, let's move ahead from that bad day <laughs> and go right into. Fina versus her bikini and Twitter hmm. user. Okay, let's go back to a video. Let's watch this video of where to, uh, Fina was actually on a podcast and insulting girls that you that we're you know, post on their social media. We with pants pants let's let's watch this. We'll be right back. On Instagram, girls go send a content that they do. They wear brazier. Do they wear pants for camera? My pain now. How did they behave? For example, you wear chingom gown, man call you tell you mm. excuse me how much you begin the verse okay now right after that video we know that uh fina you know won one of her sponsored tasks to maldives after all the various brands goes with various brands so successfully she was able to get her chosen location which was in the maldives and she's enjoying herself living the baby girl alive yeah. taking pictures have food you know when you go to the maldives now you know the all the paparazzi and all that now so you know they're posting her bikini and all that so a twitter user of course went back to remind her of her throwback and said okay people that live in glass houses do not throw stones though. so you know you might say what will happen now and it became a back and forth so yeah uh, precious this brings me to think so people actually criticize some things sometimes maybe because they want that thing they cannot afford it. Yeah, I feel like I feel mm. like if you if you know that you are not sure about something, there's no need giving your opinion about it. Mm. Because at the end of the day, you don't know if you end up in that same. Need tomorrow, right? You get like you just don't don't voice everything that it's inside that's inside. That's the funny thing about life. But it's okay to have opinions. Yeah, but it's okay to have opinions, but it's more productive, you know, or it pays you more when you have opinions that you are grounded. When you give an opinion on something, I would never do this. I would never do that. You know that you are grounded. And then 
you know, at no stage in your life would you ever partake in such. Sometimes it's saying yeah. goes that some, you feel like you're an introvert because you're broke. You don't have the money to take yourself out. And then you come up before me, introvert. I'm on my bed. I'm watching Netflix. And when you go out, go and spend money. It's just that the money is not there. People that criticize BBLs, people that criticize some forms of dressings. I'm sorry to say it. They just... have money. They are going <sighs> for it. That's if the, they find themselves that's in the honest situations, truth. They're they will parents. be doing the they things do that they criticize. It's money. So, it's, it's just the bitter truth. It's it's just the bitter truth. Yeah. Pina is a very controversial person. Sometimes something she say does not even tally with her lifestyle. It's not tally with her actions. It's like her her words on this side and, and her on the other. Are, one. On the other oh, in short, Fina is just she's just a lot, yeah. honestly. She's a so lot. guys, let's move ahead to another story that trended from last week all the way to this week. We're talking about the beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. Oh more, it has been ah, oh, I think they've each released four released four four diss tracks between themselves yeah. right now. I don't know. I'm not I, I don't know if than, I can still count. It should I be think more. it's like four four now. Yeah, and like this <laughs> these hits keep making it to the top. Like with every distract release. What makes it so bad it's is the keeps... accusations that they are calling at each other. Yeah. I know this beef initially was between J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. And then J. Cole present you know, became the bigger person and then said he, he he didn't find it. He wasn't happy, you know, beefing with somebody as talented as he was. So he didn't think it necessary and then he apologized. And Drake just continued from where J. Cole stopped. But uh, precious, run us through how this beef of the thing even started. So basically, I think it's um, because of because of mm. um, Drake's album last year October. He dropped an album, and in one of the tracks, I think one of the tracks is um, I've forgotten the name. I think First Person Shooter. Yes. So he basically um, J Cole in the track said something. He featured J Cole. He featured J Cole okay. in the track, and then J Cole said there were three goats. That's himself, mm. Drake, and Kendrick Lamar. Oh, wow. So apparently, in a new future, fast forward to this year, March, yeah. a new future comes up. I think up Kendrick with, with uh, Future, with right? With Future, yeah. He, he gets featured on, on Future's single. <laughs> single, and then he disses, you know, Joy Cole and whatever he said about them being top three. Mm. So basically, now, J. Just Cole like, steps don't out. Like, like, he's league. like, no, mm. like, we're not top three. I'm not your top three. Like, I'm bigger than you or something like that. So right now, it's like, Jaco stepped back. Mm. I was like, okay, maybe he's not. I love the heavy weight. I'm okay, not doing I'm not this. this I don't have energy. But then you know, Drake, he's not going to do that. He believes he's like just like mm. how we have with Sudan David fighting. He yeah, believes he's like go and day. everything. And these are so mightily talented men. Yeah, Kendrick so. Lamar. It's a pol- he has won a Pulitzer Prize for you know writing. So that's a master lyricist there. Yeah. And Drake has like more than a decade under his belt with jamming songs, yeah. party songs, and raps, and all of that. So these are two very talented men. But then the accusations that they are hauling at each other, you know, you're a it's pedophile, you're a like, woman beater, you're I hate hiding you, a child. I hate all your songs, I hate, like... Oh my God, it's, it's, it's quite it's, deep. It's, it's negative. It's quite it's coming, deep. You know, I mean, that's the whole idea of these tracks, negativity. But we've seen these tracks come and gone, and everybody just moved on with their life. I remember J- uh, Drake and Nick Mill, and then years yeah. back, um, Nas and Jay Z, we know the whole notorious B.I.G. and Tupac thing. It didn't end well. I mean, till today, those ev- those the, the events from that particular diss track yeah. still haunt so many so families today. So now, so many people were hurt in the process. Yeah. So maybe this track is not all it's meant to be because sometimes we can't keep it down to what it is about, which is music. It now extends to your personal life. Your yeah, family, they attack friends, you, attack everything about you. Attack your family. You. I mean, Kendrick's singing about the Grahams, talking about Drake's father and mother, raising him a narcissist. You're having a child. You see Drake talking about Kendrick Lamar. One of your sons does, does not belong to you. You're raising another man's child. Yeah. Yeah, very deep-rooted words that Different are personal. hidden on the rap beef. So sometimes rap beefs are not even all like that. The community should be all about, pro- you know, progress, progress and you know, awarding talent and not just about beef. Yeah, Sometimes man. the beef can be entertaining. Yeah, but when it now transcends I was gonna say that into something because else. Because it's all for entertainment. Scary. I mean the scary. fans are really like enjoying it. Enjoying it. It's and they're like, egging them on and they're gonna take it to the streets. They are burning the whole stuff like it's like please, yeah, go on. We want another one. Please it's becoming so negative. But 
I have to say that I give kudos to these men for the talent they are exhibiting. Yeah. You know, Kendrick drops in a few minutes, Drake drops in a few minutes, Kendrick drops again. It's like they have something stashed. You can't do that if you are not talented. That's a testament to how much talent these men, you know, have. But then, please, I don't, I'm not all for taking it to the streets. Let it end yeah. in the studio. Yeah. Where it belongs, yeah. <laughs> so lastly now, we have to go to the Met Gala. The Met Gala last night was, of course, Epic. one of Hollywood's biggest parties. Some people actually call it, it's like the Halloween for the rich people in Hollywood. But yeah. I always look forward to the Met Gala and the outfits. I always look forward to seeing Rihanna, but unfortunately, it was said that she was under if few, so she couldn't even show up. Okay, so the beautiful thing about this year's Met Gala is the theme, actually. It says Sleeping Beauty reawakening fashion and of course the dress code is garden of time so there are two things aren't in play here garden and time so when you see an outfit you get to see if it represents a garden or if it represents time, time. moving past or going backward in yeah. time so let's uh, look at best and worst dress look i know i have <laughs> i have my personal list and fashion also has her own list so we'll just be taking a look at those uh this particular two sides and also the controversial outfits too nice. outfits that i think they kind of got ta tongues wagging so the first on my breast list is Tanyana taylor yes i really loved that outfit the red you know it makes it look like it's a garden and then the flowers you know it's just so beautiful kind of looks like you know an uh, apple tree kind of just something you could just pluck out so yeah. it represents like a garden kind of so i think she was in tune with yeah. uh the dress code of the night okay, okay. but i think i would critique her hair a bit i don't know what's yeah, the going hair, the on there too much the, um, hair, the hair is out of the... i know that maybe she was trying to achieve uh, something i can't i don't know my mind is going to they, they are all the trying to achieve look. Something. yeah <laughs> but i don't really know it's just a mess but the gown, mess. i love the gown yeah. it makes so much sense so number two on my best list is Keke Palmer. I really love the Keke Palmer's gown, you know, the brown, the flow. Yeah. Everything was just making so much sense. It was so beautiful right there. Yes. And then the golden, you know, shimmer stuff happening there was so, so, so cute. I really loved that particular um, outfit. And then the full, like the hand. It's giving, it's giving, it's giving, it's giving everything Kush. classy. The yeah. hair just, ah, it was, I think it should even be my number one. It's, it's just totally perfect. The makeup, it's, the it's, hair, I mean, yeah. her glam team really took their time out. Her nails, everything was so, yeah, so on point. Really I pretty. really, really love it. Yeah, that's my number two best dress look. And then number three on my list, Mindy Kaling. Oh, when I saw that picture, I saw her walk the red carpet. Like, did ah? Can you see? Just like a oh, everything was in it's place beautiful. here. Garden of time. Let's remember the dress code. It looks like an entire tree, and then just see what's going on right there. And up there is like a tree, and then her hands. Oh, and then the brown color gives it the significance, like nature, kind yeah. of like a tree. It's so beautiful. I really, really loved it. I could really relate to it. I loved it. So this is the this is my third best look. And then my fourth best look, of course, was Janelle Monet. Janelle Monet never disappoints on the red carpet. She's always giving when it comes to red carpet looks. Yeah. So, and of course, the Met Gala was not any different. Just look at all those shimmers. And then it was in accordance with her. You know her body shape you know it's one thing to wear an outfit and another thing for it to actually fit your body shape so yeah. this was giving everything was supposed to give just look at the posture look at the shimmers it was giving me life stunning. i really loved it it was stunning yeah so of course let's move now to what dress look okay so many people were not doing it for me yesterday but of course three people stood out and number one was doja cat oh god baby girl <laughs> so people were saying she thinks she's rihanna or she wants <laughs> doja what is who what's happening i'm speechless i don't know <laughs> no, she come up from the bathtub <laughs> she stepped out of her hotel room looking like this of course she wants to set tongue yeah. wagging doja cat knows how to make people talk talk yes but she's very good at this that. is not working for me at all fashion no. wise clout wise statement wise it's not giving at all like what is this so well on the red carpet that was the first look and this is the second look again you came in out you're coming out of the shower 
Because why is this gown so wet? <laughs> and I heard she used um wet gel, <laughs> hair gel to get this wet look. Doja, please. So, okay, it's not giving what you're supposed to give. Okay, we are talking about you now. I know you have achieved what you wanted to achieve, so kudos to you. All yeah. right. So that was, you know, my best. Another look that really, you know, I don't know if to say annoyed me, but I really don't know what's going on there. Rita Ora. I just miss that blonde hair, red lips, Rita Ora. I really miss her yeah. because I don't know what's going on. This is the Met Gala. What are you wearing, Rita? <laughs> it's not Actually, giving at all. Oh, no. And this wet hair look, not everybody's supposed to do the wet hair look. No. It doesn't suit everyone. I remember the wet hair era when Kim Kardashian started with the wet hair. Yeah. Look. It really yeah. used to suit it was, her it so was much. So yeah. pretty. I love them, but Rita, no. It's not it's not given. And then these shimmers. I went online and then people said this actually looks like curtains that our grandmothers used to use back then in the living room or the kitchen. You know those ones with beads? Shwish shwish. <laughs> that is what it is giving like a curtain. It's, Damn. it's too much. I'm not I'm not understanding what's going on there. Well, this is this for Rita. All right. Well, my very last was look that would shock some people. Some people are already questioning it. I love it, I love it, I yeah. love it. But then Nicki Minaj, like, I don't know, it's just, I didn't like, I didn't like the, I didn't like her outfit, really. So people would say, okay, it resonates with the Garden of Time dress code. And yeah, petals, has flowers. flowers and everything, but maybe I would have loved it if it was longer. It's just my own personal thought. That's what I think. Yeah. What do you think, Precious? I feel like she, she did, she tried. Mm -hmm. Quite honestly, she did. But it's just too much. It's, it's too, too much. much. Dress something is too much, right? Like, when it's when it's too much, it becomes, <laughs> you know, not nice. It becomes overboard. Oh, yeah, really. it's just so but, much is going on. I don't. And then her posture, you know. Five, yeah. five, Nikki, you didn't do it for me today this time around. How I'm would, so sorry. How would you I love you, Nikki, but it's not giving. I don't. Rate her with ten. I'll rate this a four over ten for effort. Five. Let it, let it, let it remain there. Let it remain there. Okay, precious. Let's get to hear from you. Well, mine. First of all, mm. they all slayed. Everybody okay. slayed. Okay, they all slayed. Everybody ate, mm -hmm. but they have to be the good and sort of not the good. I won't okay. say the bad because right. they are still trying to stick to the team. So for my first, I have Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. I know she they, had two outfits. Yeah, she did, and I really liked more of the second one to the first mm. one, but the two outfits still slap this this was the first one it's just yeah. it's just i'm a simple person i like mm. everything simple simplicity like just classy and it's very classy mm. it's just giving chic like okay the yeah. first one was giving garden but i can't say the same this, about this this is more of greener pastures greener pastures really <laughs> but no, I'm, not, I'm not feeling it it's not giving what it, it's supposed to do i mean i mean this in her head was i mean i can see the bra and you know everything the shimmers it's not it's really not giving yeah i feel this one was just for her what's going on with the corset really, right here i honestly don't know what's happening there but then my point is the first clothes really slayed okay it if did you say so if you love and it i, I love loved it. it well my second is kendall jenna oh. i mean that babe always slays the mm. mega she always knows what suits her always yeah. like Handles. and this this was just yeah. this this yeah, was this just it. Nice. This was it. Like it was just simplicity. I'll give a nine for ten for effort. <laughs> honestly, like for ten, it makes sense. Yeah, the no, share no, but Kendall loves a good share dress. She always, you know, loves the transparent yeah. thingy going on. So it yeah. works for her. So I love it too. Yeah, it's it's quite pretty. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. For the third person, I'm not a Kardashian fan. Don't come for me. But Kylie. Okay. Kylie. <laughs> Kylie, I mean, her previous um, Met Gala looks, especially last year, I wasn't really feeling it. Mm -hmm. But this year, I don't know, it's giving more of like wedding vibes. But then really? it's like wedding, but then at the same time, still garden-ish. Mm. I don't know if you get it, but like just like just having, flow. exactly, like yeah. just having a wedding outside, like in the garden, that kind mm. of thing. That's how it's giving. It's so and tired, the it just, good back hair. The way her face, it like everything just yes. popping, no, stunning, less baby. Less jewelry, less is more. seems like... She yeah. just wanted a lot more attention on the dress. Yeah, it's then like not that so much too. details, no earrings, no jewelry, nothing. Yeah. Just, just focus on the dress. Focus on the yes. dress. The That's dress what I want to give Yeah. I mean, I have so many, but I just want to go to Sydney Swift. Sydney, Sydney Sweeney. Okay. She's like someone that I've not seen on the carpet, or I haven't noticed. Maybe she has been, but she, mm -hmm. I haven't noticed. 
But I feel like this was giving elegance. Yeah, it was. It's like kinda. giving um Cinderella's witch, um, what they call that woman that, that tried to poison with the apple. <laughs> but then it's really Yeah, it gives stunning. it gives garden feels. Yeah. Yeah, it gives yeah, that. It was, but then the Handle. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what what's going that, on. That what was, was, was that necessary? To be honest, it I don't know if it was necessary. It shouldn't be there. But every other thing else. Okay. It gave nine point five over ten because of the the, mm. the sleeves. Then to my worst, obviously Doja Cat because okay. I don't know that babe. Okay, at least we agree on something. <laughs> yeah, that babe, that babe. I don't know what she's like. Okay, like you said, it's part of the entertainment business. Possibly, I believe so. yeah, I believe possibly. So. But I just feel be. like it's not like it's not fitting into the team. Mm. At least if she wants to do something to make people talk, it should be the team. But like maybe exaggerate. Yeah, but that then this is all that attention. But this, this is, is just this is notice off. me, talk about me, snap me. Baby, that's what it's giving. Baby girl, you mm. could have a concert and just like this, then you get your talk. Everybody will talk about it, but mm. not on the mega. Then my second is Lizzo or Lizzo. Mm. I don't really know how it's pronounced. But I feel like I understood, you know, the concept of her clothes to an extent. But I don't really know what's happening on her head. Uh, okay. Is that necessary? It's just a lot. Uh, I yeah, think it I also mean, has the appearance of like a three. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, the it's, head wrap. It, it actually does. But I feel like if they had left it, mm. you know, maybe just her head. But like this whole... Mm. Maybe like a flowing pulled back hair or something would have worked yeah. better. Yeah, than, you know, than this. What, yeah, it's but not, maybe she was trying to achieve a mystery. You look like look. manificent. Yeah, that's what the Met Gala is all about to dress ah, up. True, dress up and look weird. <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess. Then obviously, Nicki Minaj. You also don't like Nicki's dress because really? because honestly speaking, I do like Nicki's dress, but I don't know why she put too much petals. Okay, it. Maybe she was trying to give the garden effect. It's supposed to know. be pretty. And then it just, out against exactly. her. Exactly. It's supposed to be pretty with just the mm. petals and all of that. Yeah, and it wasn't really going with the head. So I actually get where, where you're coming from. But then again, let's look at last two looks that really got tongues wagging and were really controversial. Yeah. I would say Tyler and Kim Kardashian. Tyler. Those two um, personalities with the outfits. I couldn't wrap my head around what was going on. Tyler, this was said to be have, have been made out of sand and made into a dress. Yeah. You know, so she had to have that feeling of being molded or something like, okay, a garden with the time, yeah, like a time machine. To be honest, I'm feeling it. I don't to know. An it's just too weird to me. To an, out of sand. <laughs> to an extent, because the details, so ordinary. It's the details, the neck, the, her neck piece has mm. like details of sand, her hand. This okay. little sand. All right. Her if purse so. is yeah. literally like a time machine. Like yeah. I feel like it's okay to an extent. Okay, then Kim Kardashian. A lot of people were actually worried for her. Somebody said she probably fasted forty days and forty nights before the Met Gala just she to have eat. that clinched waist. Kim, where is the waist? Where is her where? waist? You can't find her waist. Just like tummy. she has not eaten for days. Like her waist oh. is literally absent. But then I love what is going on down there. Yeah. But I don't understand it. What's going on with I, the I, I do to an cardigan, extent. There's really? a way she explained it. She was like, you know, you are out with your boy, you're with your man, you are mm. feeling all good, and then it gets cold, and then your boyfriend shows you his guard girl, like, okay, babe, wear this, and then you are literally not prepared. You know, the hair, the hair, how she explained the hair was like you're not really prepared for the kind of outing you went for, mm. but you just threw in a fit. One kid knows how to do is to make a info. statement on the red carpet, but then they always. They always do things that would get tongues wagging and get yeah. people talking about them. That's what the entertainment um, That's what it's all about. industry is all about. But I think this is where we would wrap it up today yeah. on entertainment just on Leadership TV. I hope we're able to catch you up on some trending stories that, you know, made the rounds this week. Join us next week with another interesting episode of Entertainment. Stay spicy. Bye. Thank you for watching. For sponsorship and advert placements, please contact... 080-3688-6158 Last Word Leadership Podcast Studio You have the last word